You're watching Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. Before we take a look at this week's book, A History of Punjabi Literature by Sant Singh Sekhal and Kartar Singh Dugal, let's hear from another one of our viewers talking about one of their favourite books. Right, one of my favourite books is The Reluctant Fundamentalist by Mohsin Hamid. Um, the book is basically about the experience of the main character called Jangiz. He's um, a Pakistani national. Um, but he's from Lahore and he's basically studied and worked in America pre-9-11 and it basically is about him and his experience pre-9-11 and then post-9-11 how his experience changes and um, the need for him to feel that he's not accepted in America anymore and he goes back to Pakistan and is a lecturer over there teaching um, on, West, uh, on the Western world basically. Um, the reason I really like the book is it's different things. It's got a bit of everything. It's got his whole Western side of the ex experience. So it's got a bit of romance. It's got his work experience stuff, the things he does in the corporate world. And then what I also like is the realism with the whole 9-11 backdrop and how he feels that he's threatened by the West now all of a sudden. The um, reason I think people should read the book is because it's still relevant today. Um, there's so many things going on about Islamophobia right now and the way people feel mistreated. So definitely read it, you can really feel a sense of why people might do the things that they do and as the title says, why you might be a reluctant fundamentalist, so definitely read that book. A History of Punjabi Literature has been co-authored by the very respected uh, professors Sant Singh Sekhal and Professor Kartar Singh Dugal. It was first published in 1992. This book is a review, analysis and somewhat summation of Punjabi literature throughout the ages from its origins around about eight, nine hundred years ago right up until the modern era. Although the early chapters are obviously quite interesting talking about the history and the origins of Punjabi literature, uh, it's when you read the latter chapters, the second half of chapters really of the book, that this book becomes incredibly fascinating. You start to get an insight into a number of different literary giants such as Pai Veer Singh, Kartar Singh Kalaswalia or Puran Singh. Most chapters begin with a small introduction into a particular area such as uh, drama and what it means in Punjabi uh, literary history. Uh, but then when they start to talk about individual writers, uh, what you get is a very brief biography of the person and then going straight in to showcase some of their work. Uh, in addition, the two writers who have co-authored this book write separately so they do not write together and what you have is their initials at the end of a particular section that they have authored themselves. There are a number of appendices at the end and there is a very valuable index too which can act as a very quick reference tool for anyone who was using this from a scholarly capacity. In its own right, this I think is a book for anybody who deems themselves to be interested in Punjabi culture at any level. It is incredibly comprehensive, very well written and showcases um, a great history of Punjabi literature. But we want to know what you think, so please leave us a comment below and tell us what you think of A History of Punjabi Literature by Sant Singh Sekho and Kartar Singh Dungal. Join us again for another edition of Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read.